The next few years of space travel are about to get pretty interesting, and what we're about to learn about the universe and our own planet is exciting. We'll be taking a look at some missions that'll be launching very soon, from the Artemis moon missions, to studying 16 Psyche and the Martian moon Phobos, and Spin Launch's new way of launching satellites into space. Let's get right into it with the Artemis missions. Artemis 1 will be the first of many missions, launching the Orion spacecraft to make an unmanned orbit around the moon and splash back down to Earth 39 days later. Now, Artemis 1 was supposed to launch back in August, but due to some technical issues and the effects of Hurricane Ian, it'll now hopefully be launching on November 14th. And although this first mission won't carry any humans, there's some other notable milestones to be excited about. Artemis 1 will be the first use of the Space Launch System, or SLS, which will be the next generation of launch vehicles for space travel in this decade. Now, we could do a whole other video on why the SLS is a big deal, but for now, the SLS will also launch the crewed flyby of the moon with Artemis 2 in 2024, as well as the next lunar landing with Artemis 3 in 2025. Artemis 3 will also bring the first woman to the moon, and if no delays happen, Artemis 4 will be coordinating to send astronauts to the Lunar Gateway, a small space station that will orbit the moon and will essentially act as a pit stop for astronauts, where they can sleep, conduct various lab tests, and hold storage for rovers and other moon robots. Artemis 5 will bring some more crucial refueling and communications pieces to the Lunar Gateway in 2028, and also send some more astronauts to the moon with a lunar rover. So the long-term goal with the Artemis missions is to really start studying the moon through the 2030s, with easy access hubs both in orbit and on the surface of the moon to study and send back samples. We also know that there's a big race to find the next big valuable resource to mine on the moon, so it could get pretty populated up there. That's one small step for Fry and one giant line for admission. Wow. Next, expected to launch in 2023, NASA is looking to launch a probe to study the asteroid 16 Psyche. Scientists believe that Psyche is the exposed core of a protoplanet made of 95% metal. The exploration of 16 Psyche could be fascinating. If it is an exposed core, it'll have invaluable information about the formation of planets something that's impossible to study here on Earth because, thankfully, our core is still pretty hot and active, and it still has all those thick layers of crust to get through. But studying this potentially exposed planetary core may teach us about the formation of our own planet, and hopefully the early stages of how life began to form. TikTok also seems to think that we're going to mine this thing for big money, but the Psyche probe isn't even supposed to get to the asteroid until 2029. So let's not rush to conclusions too quickly. The next mission to be excited about is Japan's MMX mission, the Martian Moons Exploration Mission. Aimed to determine whether the Martian moons Deimos and Phobos are captured asteroids or actually pieces of Mars from a celestial event. The Japanese probe is expected to launch in the fall of 2024, land on Phobos to collect about 10 grams of samples, conduct a flyby of Deimos, then shoot back the Martian samples back to Earth by 2029. It'll also be the first time that Mars will be photographed in 8K resolution. Finally, all these big rockets have been launching more and more, which obviously has some negative effects on the environment. And let's be honest, it's pretty expensive. So Spin Launch is testing a new way to send satellites up to space with no rocket. They've essentially built a massive slingshot a mass accelerator centrifuge in California that spins payloads fast enough to the point that they'll launch out of the atmosphere. So far, they've done 10 payload tests, all of which have been successful, and these things fly out at an impressive 4,660 miles per hour, then will ignite the rocket when it's about 37 miles up to hit orbit and release the satellite. The latest increase in space-related objects being launched in the last five years is actually pretty staggering, and Spin Launch could be a huge deal for this increasing need to get more and more satellite connections made globally. Spin Launch made the top 100 of Time's most influential companies in 2022, and is expected to launch its first official payload in 2026. 
that's some of the space missions that we're excited about, all happening in the next five years. Were there any that we missed that you're excited about? Let us know in the comments, and also let us know which futuristic tech or topics you'd be interested in seeing next.